started because um, I was asked to join the London Maternity Strategic Clinical Network and as one of our priorities we decided we were going to have working groups on um, different um, areas that, that needed um, some change and improvement and one of the key areas we decided to look at was what we called in those days patient experience because we'd had very poor results in London in the um, 2013 CQC maternity survey so six of the worst perform six of the seven worst performing trusts in the country were in London so we decided we better have a subgroup to focus on patient experience and I volunteered to lead that So the best thing about who shoots men is that everyone who sits around the table is equal. We don't have name badges on, so we don't know who's the bosses, who's the consultants, who's the anaesthetist, who's the maternity care assistant or the admin assistant. We all sit down, we're all equal, we all have valued ideas that are all of equal value. So the Strategic Clinical Network, as Florence explained, we're interested in um, the user experience project and we were particularly keen to take the Who Shoes approach forward. Um, as a result, we agreed that we'd um, have a pilot and have five pilot workshops across London in each of the network areas. So that was a concept that we took forward. Um, as a result of that pilot, we've been able to draw on some of the learning and have produced a subsequent booklet which explains the principles for holding your own workshop locally. I think one of the key factors in it with the workshops is really that you have local ownership and a really wide sort of variety um, in terms of the audience, so clinicians from um, lots of different areas across the trust and um, importantly users as well at those workshops. I'm excited about today's event of Who Shoes, which is about a combination of users, midwives, doctors, anaesthetists, uh, and people from NHS London that have come today to actually listen to what really matters to users and how we can maybe change or adapt the way that we that we work so that we give users the highest experience ever in maternity services. Do you remember how we do the you're in theatres, the patients aren't awake by long and they're asleep and then you're doing quite a technical job by helping. <laughs> And I think for me it's about light bulb moments. I think probably one of the highlights for me was a midwife at the beginning of one of the workshops saying to me when we were just literally setting up a facilitation session at the beginning, we'd had two or three cards. She said, Jill, you've changed my practice already. And it was because of just a little light bulb that she'd seen how she perhaps in, in a certain situation used a particular word and how that could be perceived, not through any bad intention, the opposite, but just not realising how sometimes those powerful words come across to people. The, the game works really well in making people um, think about both their roles. So if they're a professional, they've also maybe used the service or their family have too. And also families that use our services are professionals in other areas. Um, and we had a situation where one of our obstetricians was you know, looking at a, a scenario and discussing it. And then they were looking to her for an obstetric opinion, but she'd been thinking from a mother's perspective because she flipped to her other role. So it's about that equality and respect. And in terms of the outcome of the workshops, the, um, the key thing is really for um, local trusts and organisations to take forward pledges. So each individual at the workshops makes a personal pledge um, and then an action plan as well, um, which are really the key um, points that the trust is going to take forward locally. And then they can um, agree amongst the trust who, who will take that forward, what the resources will be. So that's really the drive of the change that comes out of the workshop. I think the other thing that's really important to talk about is the, the pictures. So you may see some of these um, pictures behind us. So we've had, been lucky enough to have graphic facilitation. Um, so that's been really helpful in recording um, what 
people's ideas are and the conversations that are happening in the room and then feeding back both during the workshop but actually having them on display in the units afterwards um, as a permanent record and a point of conversation so it keeps the conversation going you can bring it out we used ours at our MSLC recently to restart the conversation and think about where we were going to focus our attention um, and you don't have to have someone professional come and do it you can draw it yourselves so I've been in situations where people have given them flip charts and pens and they can start drawing but to have um, something very visual and creative that people can record what they're um, talking about is another key component I think you'd I think so, and I think the whole um, collaborative approach right from the beginning, so in terms of how we've sourced all the scenarios that have fed into the game, um, they've come from not just the NHS um, participants, but through the users and the communities, and I think Florence mentioned Twitter at the beginning, the Twitter community has been absolutely fantastic, so we were, we, we created something that really was bigger and, and kind of unstoppable compared with what we, we perhaps expected at the beginning and we're being inundated really with almost more material than we could cope with in terms of people telling their birth stories, positive and negative and just feeding us material and we were trying to make sure that everything was captured in terms of potential conversations that people might want to explore. So that was really at the beginning of the project and it's led to right through the project we've had um, mums coming from other parts of the country to some of the London workshops, um, feeding in constantly material and then writing blogs and tweeting and only this week do you want to talk about the maternity service just a survey? Just so, so one of the mums that's been involved in our project um, took it upon herself to set up a survey monkey to look at health professionals perspectives of maternity experience um, and um, what did they think, had they heard of the project, what did they think about the project and what were the things they thought they could change about maternity experience and then she's written a, a blog summary about it and, and given all the information to us. So there's lots of people taking initiative up and down the country, both um, healthcare professionals and users, so have got midwives making lovely posters um, and running their own campaigns in their own local areas, got people that haven't got... Um, people interested around them so that you know there are um, there's a particular woman tweeting from Oxford who's saying she hasn't got an MSLC she hasn't got people that she knows want to join in but she can get energy and support via social media and maybe at some point they'll get that started as a result so it's um, had an amazing ripple out um, part of that was uh, we also linked with NHS change day this year but part of that is just sort of organically happened and I think that's the other key thing about the project for me is I had absolutely no idea when we started where this was going to take us and each and every day something different is happening and it's evolving like at the moment we're in the middle of the maternity alphabet and we're on I which was just a random idea I started last week but it just seems to have really captured everybody's imagination so it's about once you've started something, it's not going to stop and it, keeping it going and enabling people to feel they can take action and make a change. So it's about them having ownership and feeling yeah, able to do something. I think the ownership has been at the level of both the hospitals, so mm. passing one workshop on to another mm. and deliberately not having the yeah, team, yeah. the whole team yeah. go with it, but to get that local ownership from the hospital. But similarly, the, the local ownership from the mothers, and um, within our NHS Change Day campaign, half of the actions were owned and led by the mothers, so saying that things like language and how people are treated and the communication things that go back to, to those triggers for the beginning of the project, they were actually leading and, and doing something about, which is fantastic. And I, and I think just having that enthusiasm and energy spread, so amongst the networks in London, they've certainly discussed them at the network meetings, and obviously um, that's also captured the imagination of others locally to spread the word. It's sort of such a gradual change all the time, and sort of reframing how you're thinking and how you're working. So there's sort of little changes in the way I talk to people or see them on Delivery Suite or in my clinic every day.